Alright, so this next guy is going to be factoring. Now I call this pitchfork factoring. So I am looking for a pair of numbers that multiplies to be whatever the first times the last coefficient is. So 3 times negative 12 is negative 36. And then I am looking for the same pair of numbers has to add to this negative 5 in the middle. So you have to think of a pair of numbers that fits this profile. In this case, it would be negative 9 and positive 4. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this negative 9 and positive 4, and we are going to plug them in for the middle values. So I have 3x squared minus 9x plus 4x, and then minus 12. And then I am going to group. So in other words, I'm going to find a greatest common factor out of the first pair and a greatest common factor out of the second pair. Now 3 goes into both 3 and 9, and they both also have x, so I'm going to pull out 3x. And then from here, what I'm going to ask myself is 3x times some value is equal to 3x squared, and that is just regular x. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the second one. 3x times some value is negative 9x, so that is minus 3. I'm going to pull down this plus sign in the middle. Whatever that sign is comes down. And then we're going to ask ourselves what's the greatest common factor out of these two. And this one would be 4. And then start my parentheses. Positive 4 times something is positive 4x. We're left with x. Positive 4 times something is negative 12. And we are left with negative 3. So we're going to double check that our parentheses match here, which they do. Therefore, I'm going to pull the parentheses down, so the x minus 3s that matched. And then in the other parentheses is going to come the leftovers, so the 3x and the plus 4. 